Plates, knives, canteens. <laughs> I can't believe it. Souvenirs from the front, all taken from dead fascists. <laughs> hey there, you little snot. <laughs> Youngster, I thought they were gonna rob me again. What are you doing here? Selling souvenirs. I mean, how'd you end up here? Where's your hat? Long story. I lost it when we crossed the Vistula. We were fighting in the Mokitu district, but then we had to run away. You have to tell me everything someday, but now I have a job to do. Me too. What? Selling souvenirs in this rain? No, I'm scouting this building. They took Helga here a week ago. No shit. That they took my brother and Storm too. So they're alive? I hope so. So, what did you find, little scout? The best way in is from that street there. They're moving a lot of stuff in through there, and there's lots of people passing through too. And I know Helga's still in there. I, I saw them dragging her around through the fence. Well, that's something. All I figured out from a wasted NKVD guy was... Ask Lemonov. He keeps track of that stuff. The office number is... I don't fucking remember. So we're going in? Yeah. Let's go, kid. I ain't no kid. True. You've changed a lot lately. like an airstrike. Uh, nowhere near that. Those are NKVD guys. We have to be careful. No funny moves. They'll be suspicious of a private sniffing around. And I barely speak their animal language. Ah, oh, they speak funny. Like village people. Many of their troops don't speak Russian at all. They come from all across Asia. Is that far? Very fucking far. Ah, 
хлопнуть бы по сто грамм сейчас. Михалыч, как же я по родне соскучился. Все-таки не зря мы старались. Помощь! Эх, вот мы сейчас на мой кутке. О, 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 Что-то я устал. this Limanov guy. The office number I don't fucking remember. The office. It would be much easier if I looked like one of their higher ranks. Limanov. Just the guy we're looking for. Now, where is he?
them, though. Enough of this. Чурки завтра семь лет. Михаил поздравляется. Не будет. Здравия желаю. Как же я по родне соскучился. Не вешать нос. Скоро победу. I keep some serious notes and details. <laughs> they won't lose track anytime soon. Let's see. B. B. Bonk. Ah, here's Storm. Cell block floor two. Isolate. B. 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 Borowski. Antony. Building A. Interrogate. So it's not this building. Damn it. I don't know Helga's name. I'll just borrow these papers.
стоит. Когда уже эти фашисты? Brother, are you with us? On deck. He's barely breathing. I can't fucking carry him. Where's Storm? Don't worry, I'm here. I'll take him. Here's our boy. Unable to walk, I guess. Come on, big guy. <sighs> Take you out of here. <laughs> now, gently.
need any checkpoints on our way out. I know where we're going. Turn right at the next turn. We should take them to the doctor. I figured. Do you know any left alive? Uh, no. Me neither. I feel like I don't know anyone alive anymore. We left Warsaw. No one stopped the truck full of bodies. I remember that dusk fell quickly that day. By the time we reached the forest near Sri Lanka, it was already dark. For my brother and Helga, it was too late. Antony, my brother, without whom I would have died a hundred times already and the only surviving person I was close to, had been buried by my own hand in an unmarked grave. Lydia, such a brave and smart girl to whom we all owed so much, was violated to death by drunk barbarians. We buried them and 16 other poor souls. The three of us dug throughout the whole night, not saying a word to each other. We split the next day. Henya was told to go with Storm's family where he would be welcomed, but was instructed to give a false name. Storm decided to look for his only remaining brother out of three, who was suspected to still be alive. I hid in the city and changed my identity. It's 1945. I know they've been following me for two days now. I know that I might not survive. That's why I'm writing these words. Was our sacrifice worth anything? After them, there were others. Others who didn't want to help us, young and naive. They would rather watch us die. I can't stop thinking that there could have been some other way without the sacrifice of our blood and the beloved city. I don't sleep anymore at night. I close my eyes, but only see my brother. My brother and everyone else I knew who I watched die. I'm only 19. I feel my time has come. I'll see my parents at last. They are coming for me. I hope one day someone will learn of our fate.